I say yo. Welcome to the BBW show, you feel me? We talk battle rap, basketball, and wrestling on a daily basis. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Topic for today is we at the mid-season weight in the NBA game. Let's get it. We are at the all-star break, you hear me? Now it is time to see who is the mid-season MVP. Now, it's the everybody's been saying this. Everybody's been saying this since the season started. This is the toughest MVP race possibly ever. Possibly ever. Since day one, there's at least been five to seven guys going for MVP, honestly. And then as the season go off, it just changes in the rankings. It just changes in the rankings. But the same five to seven guys been going after it all year. All, all year. Now, I got... Honorable mentions, you feel me? Stephen Curry could win it every year. He's not going to win it this year. Giannis could win it every year. He's not going to win it this year. LeBron could win it every year. He's not going to win it this year. So let's get them out of there. Let's get them out of there. Those are three GOATs, three legends, you feel me? They're in their own stratosphere. Let's get them out of here. Now, I feel like two things. Every year, the criteria changes for MVP. Every year, it changes. One year is the best Single player having the best record, like the best numbers. Sam Yez is the best player on the best team. I've seen Stephen Curry win two MVPs because of that. You feel me? I've seen Russell Westbrook win the MVP because he averaged a triple-double as a sixth seed. So it's no single criteria to win the MVP. These are my four, these are my five, matter of fact, five candidates so far. Jason Tatum of the Boston Celtics. Luka Doncic of the Mavs, Yoka of the Denver Nuggets, John Morant of the Grizzlies, and then B of the Philadelphia 76ers. These are the five, and I feel like these are going to be the five even going forward. I feel like Devin Booker has missed too much games. The stuff I said about LeBron, Curry, and Giannis, they're too, not, not too old, but they had their time already. You feel me? The MVP is about new stars, just like what the NBA is about. So... Tatum is averaging 31, 9, and 4. That's crazy. And the Celtics has been the best seed the whole, since the beginning in the Eastern Conference. 31, 9, and 4. Going crazy. Going crazy. Luka has been 33, 9, and 8. The Mavs has been up and down. The Western Conference has been bunched up. I feel like at this moment, the Mavs has not made a trade yet. But they should. The Mavs should make a trade. But 33, 9, and 8 from Luka. That's tough. That is mean, bro. That is mean. Nikola Jokic, two-time MVP. Reigning MVP. 25, 11, and 10. That's crazy. That's crazy. Again, the, that, just like the Celtics been the number one in the Eastern Conference, the Denver Nuggets have been the number one in the Western Conference, mainly since October 26. They never left that spot. Excuse me. Next, we got John Morant of the Memphis Grizzlies, averaging 27, 5, and 8. Crazy numbers. Crazy numbers. Last year, he won most improved. Last year, John Morant won most improved. He's really, if you look at his impact on the game and you watch him play, he, he's Allen Iverson, but bigger. He's honestly Allen Iverson, but bigger. He's Allen Iverson, Penny Hardaway, Russell Westbrook, Derrick Rose, all of them bunched in one. All of them, all of them finesse point guards bunched into one. And we get John Morant, bro. Second year in a row, Memphis Grizzlies is a top two seed. Last but not least, Joel Embiid of the 76ers averaging 33 and 10. Now, Embiid is probably has the strongest case. I'm not going to be honest. To me, he has the strongest case. He's been the runner-up two years. For the past two years, he's been the runner-up to Nikola Jokic. Two years before that, Giannis Antetokounmpo of the Milwaukee Bucks won a MVP. What do all three of them have in common? They're all bigs. I consider Giannis a big. And they're all international superstars. So it's not like they're being biased to the big man and they don't want to give it to Embiid. It's not like they're being biased to people that's not from America or that's from America and they don't want to give it to outsiders. They're not doing that. The last four years has went to a big from another country that was not born here or it's not from here. That's big, bro. That's big. So, Embiid, it's like you don't have no real case of why you're being snubbed. 
They're just saying that, hey, we feel Giannis and Jokic is better than you. We just feel like they're better than you. Just flat out better than you. Honestly, they're better than you. Now, Embiid has honestly improved every single year. Every single year. He's went up. Last year, he was averaging 30. This year, he averaging 33. He's went up every single year. I feel like, if and I, and I said this when the season started, if Embiid does not win it this year, he's never going to win it. This isn't Joel Embiid last year to win MVP. It is. It is. Because if you're the runner-up four years in a row, you might win the one year out of pity. You might win the one year out of pity. But, 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 my pick at this moment for MVP, mid-season MVP so far. So just from October to February 14th, who I have as my MVP. First 50-so games. I got Jason Tatum. Jason Tatum is my MVP. I ain't gonna lie. He's been doing it on both sides, offense and defense. Every play, three-point, mid-range, paint. Free throw, everything, fourth quarter, first quarter, second quarter, overtimes. He's just been doing everything, bro. He's been doing it all. 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 And he has a new coach. I know that don't mean a lot to some people, but that coaching means a lot to me. I'm not going to lie. I value coaching a lot. I value coaching a lot. He has a new coach, and he has still been the best seed all year. Like, clearly better than everybody. Better than everybody, you feel me? And he's averaging 31 and 9. 31 and 9, you feel me? But I would have him beat as a close second. I would. The reason I don't have Jokic as my MVP is because he's already two time MVP. You're already two time MVP, and them two years you didn't go to the finals. You can't keep rewarding a player for not going to the finals. You can't keep doing that. You can't keep doing that. I said the same thing when Giannis won his two MVPs. Prior to going to the finals. You can't keep doing that. We got to create new stars. We can't keep rewarding a guy that's only good in the regular season. Even even though it's the regular season award. It looks bad on the. It looks bad on us creating new stars. And this is going to be the first ever Michael Jordan award. So I would definitely probably have it go to Jason Tatum. I'm not going to lie. I would probably have it go to Jason Tatum. But it's gonna, we still got time left. We still got time left. The Celtics could fall off in the second half of the season and then B could burst through the spurt. You feel me? Burst through the roof and carry them. It's still time. But at this very moment, right now today, February 14th, I got Jason Tatum as my MVP. Let me know what you think in the comment section. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Follow me on Instagram at HRW underscore podcast. Follow me on Twitter at hoops underscore wrestling. I'll be back with more.